All right, here we go. Well, hey everyone. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Emily Roberts. Um, I'm a diamond ambassador with Plexus. I've been doing this for five years um, this coming July. And over the last five years, I have learned that you have to be yourself. You have to be different and you have to talk about it when you love it, right? So we talk about things we love on social media. It's a free place to express ourselves. And what better place to do that, especially if you start your own business? Um, a huge part of that is doing it the right way versus the wrong way. And we will kind of go over that tonight. But when I say attraction marketing or social selling or posting on Facebook, what I really truly mean is the attitude or the concept of I'll have what he's having. And what that means is when someone reads your post, when they read your story, when they read your blog, they look at your picture, they think, what will that do for me? I want what they have. I want to feel that way. I want to look that way. I want to live happily like that. Um, and not necessarily anything that's fake because I know we like to post a lot of our highlight reel on social media, but really just being ourselves and being authentic. So we're going to cover that tonight. Hold on one second. Let me figure out how to, there we go. So what in the world is attraction marketing? Attraction marketing is the process of drawing interest to your company, your product, service, um, using certain techniques, and that's what we're going to talk about tonight. And the goal is to attract potential customers or buyers um, because you've bettered your life in some way, somehow. So we're going to talk about how to incorporate that into social media in your day, your day to day. Um, but overall, this is just a fancy way of saying to be more relational and less retail. A lot of you work nine to five jobs, maybe in sales, or maybe you've been in sales before and your brain has to unlearn bad salesy techniques. And so we can do that, okay? You don't feel like this is something that can't be done. I promise that it can be. And this is how you're going to do those things. The three T's. Trust, tact, and teach. You want people to trust you. If they trust you, they will order from you. If they trust you, they learn to like you. They connect with what you have to say. If you do all of these things tactfully, meaning um, you, don't, you don't start controversial arguments on your social media, you don't push people away by being a negative Nancy, you show tact and grace. And then you teach people. You educate them about what you're learning along the way. If gut health and learning about gut health is brand new to you, then you be honest. You say, look, I didn't take a probiotic a day in my life until yesterday, but I started one and I immediately noticed that I actually slept through the night. So I think we're on to something here. Stay tuned, you know? So just being honest and being authentic. <clears throat> so I don't want you to get this notion in your brain that you are going to start doing all of these things tonight, right? You're going to immediately implement. You're like learning a lot. You're ready to apply it. And no one bites, right? Obviously, people are gonna pay attention. They're gonna see a shift in how you post and all that kind of stuff. But don't freak out when they're not buying from you, they're not messaging you right away. Remember, I've been doing this for five years. There are still people to this date that are still watching me. They have watched me earn vehicles, build my dream home, keep off 50 pounds, have three pregnancies. They have seen and witnessed all of those things and they still are skeptical. So do not, do not think that this tactic or these techniques don't work. It's not even that. It's the fact that people will buy it when they wanna buy it, and timing is everything. So whether it's your Facebook or Instagram, as they get to know you, they get acquainted with you, kind of like um, I made a video on this a couple years ago, like you're dating your potentials. Like I want you to think about your first date with your significant other, okay? Maybe it was totally terrible. Maybe it was awkward. Maybe they had bad breath and they went into that first kiss. I don't know. Those are the same things that can happen in your business, right? Not that you're kissing your friends, but you lean in and you just flex this vomit all over them. And then immediately you're like, why did I do that? Like, this is my best friend. So it's like they're great. Like, why would I, why, why did I just ruin that? It's okay. Let them see that you've been there, done that, and you're ready to change and you're ready to just show them a new part of you, a new side of your life. So when the time arrives for them to purchase whatever tool you're offering, you know, that's what we have here, tools for success, for your gut health, detoxing, weight management, all those things. They're not just going to think, oh, I need to go to the nearest GNC and get that. No, they're going to think of you because you're the gut health guru. You're the mom with all the energy. You're the, the nurse that 
works late night shifts, but you always have a smile on your face. You're the crazy busy teacher that gets through the day without one cup of coffee. They're going to remember those things. They're going to think of you when they're ready. So overall, this is the essence of what we've been talking about when we say attraction marketing. Um, customers, they're curious. They want to know how it works. Obviously, they want to know how some of our stuff tastes and they want to see how it works. So before they buy something, just like most of us, we like to see the value that it's going to give us for the money that we're spending. So posting about our story, other people's story, and connecting with people is going to make that happen. Now, I'm not telling you to just put a filter on your picture and call it a day. Oh, no, 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 no. Because a lot of you message me and you're like, okay, so I started using these filters and all my pictures look the same, now what? I'm like, oh, okay, no. Um, there's a couple of things when it comes to attraction marketing, and we're about to dive into that, but bright personal pictures that tell a story, or even better, you write one. You write your own story. You know, make the effort, okay? If you're like, well, I never do my hair. I never do make my makeup like you. I never, well, you guys don't, don't get me wrong. I enjoy looking like a hobo like the next mama of three kids. But sometimes I got to get up, show up, get dressed, brush my teeth, and take a couple of selfies to use for a rainy day. That doesn't mean I look like that all the time. No. They might think I look like that in that moment because that's the picture I decided to use to tell my story. But that's not necessarily something you're going to have to do every single day. Like tonight I have makeup on. So if you see a selfie of me wearing an Adidas hat and this red shirt later, I may or may not have taken it tonight. So I want you to think about that. You know, sometimes we look like hobos and it's okay. I'm all about that life. But, you know, download presets, okay? They might cost you a little money. Um, Yvonne actually just posted about how there is a free one. Her, her photographer friend just, um, you can download it to your phone for free. Um, and a preset is just a fancy word for filter. But you use presets to make all of your photos look the same. So they're not all over the place. And um, you kind of have a flow. It, it, it fits your brand. It represents who you are. And then I want you to think about that. What do you want to represent? Tonight I was talking to um, a, a girl on our team, her name's Amanda, and she suffers from IBS. And she was like, Emily, I don't, I don't even know where to begin. Like, who wants to talk about poop? I'm like, dude, this is the gut health company. We talk about poop all the time. So you just start. And she's a mom. So I'm like, dude, you're, already, like, you're a mom. Like, you already talk about poop. It's a gut health company. Like, I'm, I'm trying to encourage her. And she says, so how do I do that? And I said, well, that's a huge part of your story. You've been on Plexus for a year and you, your symptoms have been reduced and you're feeling great and you're living your life without having to run to the bathroom every five minutes. That's you. You are going to be the person that knows all things IBS because you already do. I said, does that make you feel confident? She said, well, yeah, this is something I've struggled with for a long time. I said, then you post what you know. If I know that you are not suffering from something and all of a sudden you're telling me about all these things, it's going to turn me off. But if I know that you suffer from infertility and that's something you constantly are sharing and, and bringing to my attention and it makes me think of you when I hear that word, then you're connecting with me. So what do you represent? Okay. And if you're sitting there and you're like, well, Emily, I don't have any illnesses or diseases. I'm just vain. I wanted to lose weight. Hello. Been there, done that. But I want you to think about some other things. You know, how do you feel off the scale? Hey, maybe you lost some weight, but I want you to know, I want you to think about things of, you know, are your pants fitting um, not as tight? Are you finally in the gym because you have the energy to do that? Are you more romantic with your significant other because your hormones are balanced? What are some things that are going to catch people's attention that represent your day-to-day -day life? Now, once you figure that out, okay, what you want to represent, what story you want to tell, it comes down to two posts a week. We are all on social media. If I go to your social media right now and I see that you have shared like 13 silly videos and recipes and quotes, don't tell me, oh, I'm never on social media. Yes, you are. You're just not doing intentional work. In the beginning, it might feel like a part-time job and then it becomes fun because you're helping so many people. But two posts a week, um, and you can post anywhere, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, you can get creative. Less is truly more, okay? I'm not even talking about the old school days when we wore blue eyeshadow in fifth grade because your mommy used to say, Emily, or my mommy used to say, less is more, honey. Like, you don't need to put the blue all over your eyebrows. So just a little, just a little goes a long way. The same with your social media posts, okay? Give me one good backstory. Tell me where that weight gain came from. Tell me when you first discovered that you had IBS symptoms. Tell me about the struggle of getting pregnancy. Help me connect with you. I want to pray for you. I want to get to know you. It's kind of like you're, 
your um your writing in your diary but on Facebook but it, you don't have to share the nitty gritty but just enough to connect to that person out there that might need just an ounce of hope and you're the person that offers that we have to be intentional I say that all the time and some of you are like what does that even mean that means when you get on Facebook it's not because you want to sit there and scroll for 48 minutes and talk about all the different things you saw and the cat riding the Zumba and that guy liked your ex ex's picture and oh my gosh her baby does this and vaccinations this and politics that and blah, blah. no you get on Facebook to tell your story to connect with other people then you get off and you go play with your kids you go to the gym whatever you gotta do um and don't just get on to post to post like you can do like you know like you log on you post a scripture and then like you like no tell me what that scripture means to you okay you're at the gym you're connecting with people at the gym what does that gym mean to you how do you feel about going to the gym every day like i some people get so annoyed with gym selfies and all that stuff yvonne had a really good post about that the other day and um she wasn't always an avid gym goer. She gave us the backstory. Like, why is she in the gym all of a sudden? And so sometimes it's just nice to give a give, you know, give the extra, the extra five minutes so that I can relate to that. I want you to think about the conversations you just had with your friend at the gym or at church. You know, what can you do to be more intentional about what you post on social media? And some of you are like, well, Emily, it's my social media. Like, I want, I don't get on there to work. I, I work nine to five. I don't want to get on there and work some more. Don't think of it as work. If you're thinking it as work and it's not fun, I want you to message me so we can talk about that. I want you to post about things that represent you that are fun. Tell me a story because you want to help change your life. Why do you use Plexus? What made you click join? You know, was it something that I did? Something your sponsor did? Was it a story you read? Talk, talk to me about that story. You know, say, you know, the other, uh, a couple weeks ago, I saw this story on Facebook and I just really, it really hit home for me. And I struggle with A, B, and C too. And I really want to stay home with my kids. You know, I've been a teacher for 15 years and I just saw this as a, as a new outlet. You know, it's a little scary to walk away from a, a job, but I'm going all in with this. You know, tell me the story. What are you here for? Retirement and illness? Weight management, you want to stay home with your kids and, and work from home? Okay, if that's you, that's your platform. That's what you talk about. That's what you write about. So a cool thing is coming, and some of you may have already received an email. If not, it's coming. Stay tuned. But it's called My Story, and it's going to help you write exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it'll be in your back office. Um, if you go into your dashboard, you'll see it under Sharing Plexus. It says My Story. And then when you click on it, that's what you see to the right. Um, and so you'll click on Create Story. Well, you can create as many stories as you want. Maybe your weight loss side to all of this. Maybe it's your, you start making some money with Plexus. Do you want to talk about that? It asks you good questions. It gives you examples. It shows you a video. It, it literally walks you through step by step. You guys, you can't screw it up. And the best part is all your stories are going to be right here. And the second best part is everybody's story will be in the story library. Once you upload it and you include your picture, you know how we are constantly searching in the Plexus People and Products page? Or maybe you're constantly searching on Facebook and Instagram to find a story that connects to your aunt, your aunt or your bestie or whoever it is that you want to share Plexus with. Well, now you'll have a place right there in your virtual office. I'm so excited for this new tool. So here's a couple of things. If you are a note taker, go ahead and screenshot this or you can write them down. Um, number one is how can you get started? Log in your virtual office and, and get to work on that my story. You know, build your story. Take some time to sit down, you know, sit down with your significant other and, and write out your story or y'all story. Number two is when you take pictures of your products, your family, the results, make sure that you're using the same filter or the same preset in every single picture. I don't want to see another Snapchat filter on your face ever again. You have a beautiful face, show it off. You have a beautiful family, that's wonderful. I think it's funny when you do filters and stuff on your stories with your kiddos, but no. If I come to your Facebook and I think that you have rabbit ears, when I meet you at the grocery store, I'm going to be really disappointed that you don't. So if uh, you could just start posting real life pictures, up to date pictures, you know, when was the last time you had family pictures made? You know, a lot of us have iPhones and they take incredible pictures. Or if you don't have an iPhone, I'm sure one of your friends does. Have them come over and take some pictures so that you can use them. Um, if you change your filter or if you 
change the way your photos look, it's going to mess up the flow that you have going. It kind of, like, you know, like everything is bright and colorful and then it's like this really dark picture and I can't really see what's going on. It's not very appealing to the eye. Um, so you want to be attractive, right? It's attraction marketing. So make, let's help all of our pictures kind of flow and look the same. And that really goes to show for Instagram. And we'll get to that in just a minute. Number three is when you're sharing other people's stories. I tell you often to copy and paste and um, use like a family photo or a personal photo that you get from their Facebook. If you're going to copy and paste, add a line or two before the story to talk about your plexus friend, um, to talk about that person like, wow, this is, um, this is worth the read, you know, or Sarah, I'm right there with you, girl. I felt the same way. And then you share the story, but just copying and pasting and saying, this is a testimony from Plexus. Like that screams sham wow commercial all day. And you don't want that, right? We don't want people to think that we're advertising. Whoops. Number four, when sharing your story or your updates or a product tip, or maybe you learned about an ingredient, Use a picture that you took. If you're going to find somebody's picture, make sure it goes with the flow of what you're posting, but open your product up, right? Pour, your, pour the capsules into your hand, get creative. Use another ambassador's picture or download it to your phone, but make sure it all goes with the flow. Um, number five is when you're telling your story, use describing words and adjectives to give the backstory, okay? Why are you 50 pounds overweight? When did you discover that you have those symptoms? How hard has it been to, um, to become pregnant, you know? Talk about hard things. That's how you connect with people. People need hope. They need to see good things that are happening in your life. We have tons of negative stuff already on social media. Give them something good. You know, maybe talk about how you felt then and how you felt now. Uh, number six is what I was talking about earlier, posting those non-scale related victories, right? A lot of people think that Plexus is some weight loss company. Surprise them. Talk about other things. Talk about how your face is cleared up. Remind them about Joyum. You know, get creative. Number seven, you don't even have to say the word plexus. If you're using attractive posts and stories, then you already have their ears and their attention. They're going to keep watching. What is this girl doing? What is it she's taking? How is she going to the gym twice a day? How does she have that energy? Number eight, two posts a week is all you need if they're intentional, personal, and authentic. The rest of your time will be spent engaging and following up, living your life, cleaning your house, you know, um, important things. But you want to participate in income producing activities, not um, excessive draining activities that drain your bank account. They don't bring in money to your bank account, okay? I spend a lot of time on my Instagram stories or like mini Facebook lives. I talk about my day, I get vulnerable, I share, I share stuff there. Um, it took some practice, kind of had to play around with it and figure it out. Instagram, you know, totally intimidated the crap out of me. But one day when I was home and my kids were napping, I just sat down and watched some videos on YouTube about how to build my Instagram following and how to use Instagram stories. And now I feel like I got it down. Uh, number nine, you are allowed up to 30 hashtags at the end of every Instagram post. Make a couple of personal hashtags or funny ones, you know. And then if you're going to use other ones that are already popular, look for the ones that have 20,000 or less hits because then your pictures are usually easier to find. Some of my favorites that I use that you might see are Robert's Party of Five, Southern Mama, and Ingredients Matter. But get creative. Come up with your own. Um, this is a part of your brand, you know? Like people used to say all the time, um, this is how babies are made to me because every time I'd get pregnant after – this victory of losing all the weight, um, I would see my husband doing dishes and I would post a picture of it, put hashtag, this is how babies are made. And so now, I mean, people made me headbands and t-shirts and all kinds of stuff that said that because that was my brand. It made them think of me. And recently I unveiled a secret that I love cows. My whole office is cows. And now every time people see something cow related, they send it to me because that's a part of my brand. That's something I love and it represents me. And I'm consistent. I talk about it all the time. So now it's just a part of who I am. Number 10 is there's no such thing as a bad post, just a boring story. If you just post a picture of you and your kid, like you see here, this is me and Sterling. If I just post a picture of me and my kid, yeah, it's a great picture, okay? Um, we're filtered. We look awesome. But that's it. Woohoo. You might get some likes. Cool. Tell me a story. So on Instagram, I posted the backstory of why I love the car rider line. 
I love picking him up. Growing up, I loved when my mom picked me up from school. That was a really special time. We had 15 minutes to ourselves. I'm the oldest of four kids. And my mom would go to the next couple of schools to pick up my siblings. And that was our time, you know? And now I get to do that with my son when his siblings are napping. That's our 15 minutes. And he's only getting older. And that's just something like super vulnerable that I put out there. You can tell a story with every single picture that you take. You just have to think about it. Now, let's move on past posting to um, solutions. Solutions lead to sales. If you are not educating your audience or just offering them something like your favorite places to shop, um, how you meal prep, you know, your favorite workout at the gym, um, uh, so if you're more scientific, you know, what you're learning about the ingredients you're taking. Solutions lead to sales. If, if I offer you a solution, I'm now your solution person. So you're like, okay, Emily knows a lot about this thing, so I'm just going to go look at her face, but maybe she's talked about it before. I want you to look at the two pictures. Um, nod your head if you know who those people are, right, or, or who she is. All right, Rachel Ray, she's a famous chef. Um, and then down below, you have the Home Depot logo. So Rachel Ray blew up in her cooking business because she noticed a huge problem in that industry. People didn't want to cook, right? The fast food industry was booming and she was like, no, like people need to get back in the kitchen and it's, it's simple. And that is where she came up with the 30 minute meals and 30 minute meals took off. It was a huge success. It got her a TV segment. She's now written multiple books and it launched her into super stardom. Now all of us know who she is and she's super adorable and she just remains to be herself. Lots of, uh, businesses and companies, they use free classes, samples, we have trial packs, and that attracts their ideal client. So I want you to think about that, you know, like she just, she saw a need for something and she went after that, you know, think about your audience. What is, what do the people in your town want? What do the people at your gym want? What do the people at your church want? The people that you surround yourself with, what exactly are they looking for? Do y'all remember when Uber first came out and they gave out a bunch of free rides? That's attraction marketing. Everyone started talking about it. Like they went viral is like kind of what we like to say. Go viral in your own way, in your own community, on your Facebook, because that is attraction marketing. That pulls people in. You're like a magnet because you're offering solutions, you're educating, you're entertaining, and you're using those three T's, right? You're teaching people. You, you have tact, right? You're respectful of everybody. You're not posting, you know, offensive things, which these days could be really anything. <laughs> and um, you're having fun doing it. So I, I just want you to think about that. Home Depot. Home Depot conducts weekly classes on how to use the equipment that they sell. What if you got on Facebook once a week and went live and talked about ProBio5? You talked about Plexus Slim. You did a video of you washing your face at night and applying Joyum. The thing that I love about Home Depot is they saw that the people that were attending the classes, they chose to buy more items and they wanted to test out what they were learning. So if I'm learning about skin microbiome, right, it's all over the um, TV and commercials and stuff now, and here you are talking about this skin microbiome serum that you use every night, that's going to trigger something in my brain like, oh, Emily has that thing, I'm, I'm gonna go get that from her. It's a part of attraction marketing. So it's about working smarter and not harder and looking for um, a solution that you can offer people in your bubble. Now, if you're ready to make that solution, you're ready to get going, you're ready to start posting, you're like, okay, Emily, like you have me fired up, I, I have the confidence to make sure that I'm doing this the right way. Well, how do you make that perfect social media post? And honestly, I don't really think there is a perfect social media post. All of our audiences are different. Um, the timing is different. Some people are online at night, some are in the morning. It's about timing and the intentionality of it, right? So if you were talking to a girl and she wants to spend more time with her family, she feels like she's a workaholic, here's Abby Kappa. This is a picture of her and her family at the beach. And she wrote a beautiful post about how a couple years ago, she was praying and praying and praying for all these things, more time with her family to feel better, the desire to get up and do something about all of that. And she was reflecting on that. She's like, here we are in the middle of the day at the beach as a family because of an opportunity I said yes to to work from home. That is a perfect post. 
It's, is it entertaining? Is it educating? Are you engaging people? Did you ask a question where people want to tell their story? You know, tonight I asked, how did you meet your significant other? Was it awkward? Did you date his best friend? Tell me all the, all the things. There's over 150 comments. People want to tell you their story. They, they love connecting. Humans crave that relationship. You know, does your post include a personally written backstory or did you just share something you saw on Facebook? Did you just copy and paste something? You know, tell me what you think about it. I want to hear your thoughts. You know, did you include a picture that stops your audience in their tracks? I mean, their family is gorgeous. And I, I immediately stopped and I was like, I want to read this. Like, this is a beautiful picture. What are they doing? You know, or maybe it's something you shared a while back and you want to bring it to the surface again. That's called repurposing your old content to make it fit in today's time. You know, gut health is only getting more and more popular, thank goodness, because it's so vital and important for our health. How can you revamp that? How can you reintroduce it to your audience? And then is your post factual and uplifting? I'll, um, a while back I used to post all the time, you know, be a fountain, not a drain. If I come to your Facebook and everything is a complaint, you know, you have no attitude of gratitude. The world sucks and I'm depressed and this is happening. And, you know, we're going to have some really crappy times in our life. That doesn't mean you have to document every single one. Sure. Pick a bad day, own it, blog about it, ask for prayer, ask for accountability, then get back to it and get back to inviting people to take a look at what you're up to. Plexus is different. It helps us be different because we feel better, we look better, and we're doing more. And that is how you're going to create a perfect social media post is by using these tips. Here are some examples of attraction marketers in Plexus. So the first one you have is um, Jessica Huffley. She's a diamond senior Ruby. And um, this is her son. And the post says breakfast donut date with my firstborn before heading to the airport. He is one of the main reasons I've dived so deeply into the Enneagram and learning how I view the world and how things affect me and others. I've noticed many of the things he does that I don't like, and I do the same thing. He's seen it modeled from me. Hashtag oops. Thank God kids are resilient. Thank God his grace is new every morning. And thank God that self-awareness has brought the motivation to live my best life and be the best version of myself because little eyes are watching. This not only encompasses motherhood, but, you know, self-awareness and personal growth by taking the Enneagram test. Um, it's just an adorable picture of them having breakfast together. She encompasses so much in this post. And notice how none of it had to do with Plexus, but it does tie back to the opportunity to be more with her kids and to set the example, to create a legacy business, right? The second one is Rebecca Folks. This one's super fun. I love what she did on Instagram. It says, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Instagram boutiques, that is. It's hard to get out of the house kid-free, and it is even worth the hassle when it's easy to shop online. Instagram stores make it even easier. Here are some of my favorites. So she gives you seven different shops. You know, she's offering this out to her audience because people like that. They want tips. You know, think of all those fashion bloggers on Instagram right now. Some of them have millions of followers, and they're making millions of dollars because they bring influence to the fashion industry. We can do the same thing to gut health and the supplement industry if you do it the right way. Now, I love this next one. It's uh, Donna Lee and Laura Robinson. They're both Diamond Sisters. And she talks about, um, has nothing to do with the fact that you are doing something wrong and everything to do with the fact that you are doing something right. And it talks about how people judge you no matter what you do. She said, you, my friend, were made for greatness. You were made to do the hard things. So be more, do more. Stay true to the purpose that way revealed before you, for you are not average. And it's just one of those uplifting posts to turn her sister getting ready in the bathroom, you know, um, it's, like it's just a daily thing. And it stops you in your tracks because you're like, what are they doing? And she just uplifts you and encourages you. We need more of that. Lastly, we have Kara Knox. She is also a diamond ambassador. She's super crunchy and, and scientific. I like to call her my go-to nerd for lots of product things. Um, she's the one that teaches us all the time about Mega X. And she talks about stimulating your microbiome by challenging your heart and muscles is the gift that keeps us living. It's not a punishment. It's a beneficial therapy. I want to encourage you to move your body for the same reason I'm encouraging myself. It works. It gives back. And if I care for my microbiome, my bacteria will care for me. Today was my therapy session, and I'll be back for more tomorrow. Loving yourself is finding your worth and the value in every moment 
in every season and in sharing that love with others. We're never alone when we share what we have with those we love. I love everything about that. So it's almost like a little mini counseling session, like get yourself to the gym. It's, it's free therapy, right? And, but she also ties in the microbiome and some fun facts that she's learned. Here are some Instagram social um, attractors, right? That attraction marketing looks so pretty on Instagram when it's done the right way. Um, from fashion to farm life, from um, just living your best life, from motherhood to um, in the top right, we have Bridget Ryan. She is pregnant, I think, with her one, two, three, four, five, six, and her eighth baby or ninth baby. I don't even remember, but everything that you see here embodies that person, that family, what they love and represent. And I know what you're thinking. Some of you are like, that looks so time consuming. It's really not. All you have to do is slap a, the preset on top of it and tell your story, right? Um, but again, if you're, if you're trying to, if you're waking up every day, you're like, what do I post today? You know, like that's not how you work a business. That's why I said twice a week, give me something good. Give me two stories a week. And then the rest of the time, you know, scroll or connect with people or whatever you got to do. But I want to show you some examples of what the Instagram people that I'm following that are blowing up in Plexus. This is what they're posting like. So here's some common mistakes. And if this is something you're doing, do not freak out. I don't want any feelings hurt. I'm simply just showing you guys what a good thing looks like and what a salesy thing looks like. So some common mistakes. Using logos or product photos as their personal profile or cover photo. Humans connect with faces, not logos. So on the right, um, that is actual an actual person's Facebook. Their name is Drink Pink and Shrink. That's not their name. Uh, their their photo is a Plexus Slim photo. Their cover photo is Plexus Slim. I mean, it's just a walk and talk and advertisement. I know nothing about them except for Plexus, Plexus, Plexus. To the left, this is my profile, point blank. Uh, you see my name, you see our, my family's website. My, I have a quote for my cover photo. I'm a real person. Um, and everything is set to public. I know some of you, that kind of freaks you out. You can make everything public and you can still hide your children. They can, you can make the privacy on that specific post private or you can keep your stuff private until you're ready. But if you really want to change the world and connect with everybody, public is the way to go. A great profile photo should make your tiny circle avatar stand out in the news feed and attract someone's attention so they click on over to find out more about you. So whether it is Instagram or Facebook, if in, this is something that I personally like to do. Every single month, I change my profile picture at least twice. Because when you do, everyone in your newsfeed gets notified that it's been changed. And it reminds people like, oh, hello, it's me. Hello, update, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that. Show them your face. If you have a picture of your dog as your profile, no. I don't, I mean, I'm sure your dog's great and all, and look, we could probably be good friends. But I want to see your face. If you haven't taken a picture in a while, go in your backyard when it's a beautiful day, snap a selfie, or have someone else take your picture. You know, angles all day. But take an updated picture and connect with people that way. Um, another thing that I see is too much retail and not enough relations. I wanna get to know you, okay? So on the right, you see this pixelated, old school Plexus Slim and Accelerator picture with all these words and it just looks like an advertisement and I'm, I can't even read it to y'all because I'm like, what? However, on the left, the same words are attached to this photo. This is a mom who said, I'm not counting any calories while I walk through Target. No forbidden foods. I'm not meal replacing with this drink. I'm simply balancing my hormones and blood sugars and enjoying 45 minutes of peace and quiet on the pot, or on the, not the pottery, the home decor aisle of Target. That is going to make me wonder, okay, what is she drinking? Is that alcohol? Is she at Target? Like, what's she doing? You know, the post on the right, just like, you lo you're losing me. So, Take a look at this, screenshot it if you want, but these are just some common mistakes that can easily be tweaked to draw people into you instead of push them away. Last but not least, as we wrap this up, I want you to be yourself. I've pulled pictures from some of y'all's profiles, and I just, I love everything about this. I love everything that they represent from your, your dark posts about motherhood to your happy times of Plexus free trips to shopping at Home Depot with your husband and selfies with your, your husband. Um, we have so many military families, um, Plexus babies being born, 
your heritage and your culture. Be yourself, okay? There's a Dr. Seuss quote that says, nobody is you that's, I don't even know the quote. I just totally butched it. I'm going to look it up. But there is a quote by Dr. Seuss, and I absolutely love it because that's what I want you to do. I want you to be the youest version that you can be. It says, today you are you. That is truer than true. There was no one alive who was youer than you. And it's true. I want you to just be yourself, but you can add a little oomph. You are special. You are worthy. You are more than enough. And your story is going to impact someone. There is no story that is too small. There is no story that's ever too big. You're going to change a life. But you have to talk about it. That I'll have what she's having factor starts with you. You can set the pace. You can select the pictures you want to share. You're not some gingerbread man or company robot. You're you. We're allowed to have bad days, but we're also allowed to have some really good days. And it's okay to talk about both. Be honest if you fall off the wagon. Own it. Move forward. Don't stay there. Don't stay off the wagon. Get back on it. Drink your pink drink and talk about it. And then be someone you would want to do business with. Like, if you're only posting salesy, weird stuff, I'm not going to want to join you. I want to join someone that loves life, that gets up and shows up and works 110%. Right? If you don't want to work at your 9 to 5 job for the rest of your life, talk about that. Tell me why you want to go all in with Plexus. Tell me why you want to go all in and be your own boss. Write about the things that appeal to everybody because they will always be drawn to you. I love posting funny things about my kids and what they're doing. Like People literally message me like, I came to your Facebook today to see what Gentry destroyed because my two-year-old is into everything. So I like to make people laugh. So I'm going to write about things that make them laugh. Learn how to tell your story. This is the most important thing that I want you to take away from tonight. Because if you perfect that and you keep telling your story and include updates, I want you to get it down so that you can tell the same story in person. You can write it out. You can tell your story in pictures, maybe even in a video. Live video would be even great. We can work up to that. Don't freak out. But your story is one of the most powerful attraction tools that you have because no one else is you. And once you become wonderful and great at telling your story and you learn to tell that story of other people, then all of those different experiences separate you because now you are just a storyteller. You're not a salesperson. You're not selling or pushing Plexus. You are telling a story about how Plexus fits into your life. That is what I want you guys to do. So for the rest of this week, we have a couple days left of this week, I want you to feel empowered and brave. I want you to have courage, and I want you to know that you can do this. I know it seems like a lot of information, but truly it's not. It's just getting into the swing of things and not getting on Facebook to watch cats do silly things with Jello. No, I want you to get on Facebook because there's another mom on there that's on Facebook desperately seeking for something. She doesn't even know what she's looking for, but she is. I hated, hated people that did network marketing supplements because I was never raised on supplements. My husband did GNC stuff and that was annoying because he would leave crap all over my counter. I had a bad mentality about supplements in my brain. So when it was offered to me, I just would roll my eyes. I'm like, no, just go work out. And so I had to retrain that. But I also had to get to a really desperate, hopeless place where I was just like, I need something. I'm 24 and I feel like I'm 82. I don't want to be around my baby. I don't want to get up and do schoolwork. My husband's deployed and he's freaking out because he thinks something's wrong with me. So maybe something is wrong with me. Maybe there is a missing piece. I'm so thankful Holly had the courage and posted on social media because she almost didn't. And then I wouldn't be here and then none of you would know about it. You're here because someone had courage to share. So I want you to think about that. And I hope that encourages you and you take that um, encouragement and you share it with your new ambassadors that just joined. Sometimes they just need a little nudge. You know, write out their first post for them and say, what do you think about this? Do you feel like that's something that you could share? Or what do you want to say? That's one of my favorite things to ask people when they join. Like, well, what do you want to say? What do you want to share? What do you want to talk about? And then I'll go through their profile and I'll be like, hey, use this picture. This is a great picture of you. Use this picture and then post that story you want to say and let's get it out there tonight. Encourage them to be their self, but with a little oomph because that's what sets us apart. Plexus already sets us apart from the rest of things out there. Am I right? You can nod because we know that we're different. 
but then how are you gonna be different, okay? I want you to be an attraction marketer. I want you to have fun with this, because if you're having fun, if this like totally freaks you out, I don't know if this is your thing. I'm just gonna be completely honest. I don't know if this is gonna be for you. You can use the products for the rest of your life, that's wonderful, but I think it's selfish if you don't talk about it, right? If I find a good deal at TJ Maxx, and I go buy it and it's something that you've been looking for for months, you're gonna be pretty darn ticked off if I post that and you're like, I told you I was looking for that sweater and you got it for $10 and you didn't tell me. That's how I feel about Plexus. People are not sleeping. People are drinking four or five Red Bulls a day. I went to my neighbor's house for the Super Bowl party. Best Super Bowl party ever, we had Chipotle. And I went into his fridge in the garage to get out some waters and they had a drawer of Red Line energy drinks. You know, I wasn't even mad at him for drinking energy drinks. I was mad at myself for not ever mentioning Plexus to them. Like, they know what we do. But, like, what? My neighbor's drinking red wine. That's like a heart attack in a bottle. And so I'm just, like, sitting there, and I'm like, oh, why am I such a chicken? I've been doing this for five years. And, like, y'all are looking at me like, you're a chicken? What? I get it. I know. Like, it's that hesitation. It stops us from being an attractive marketer. It stops us from putting what we really want to put out there and instead copying and pasting the silly post, right? Or the easy post. Stop posting the easy stuff. Share the hard stuff. Share the truth. Share the facts. Set yourself apart and be yourself. Y'all have a great night. I will get this recording up for y'all shortly. Love you guys.